stars and rushing planets sing to the Lord a new song of victory. The shouting army sing to the Lord a new song. He has done
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I tell you, brothers and sisters, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully, for the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the Gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their net into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. They abandoned their net and followed him. He walked along a little further and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the earth men and followed him. This is the gospel of the Lord. You, Lord Repent and believe in the gospel. Amen. Amen. And there are people in the church. Amen. Amen. Today, Jesus has started his earthly ministry. As we heard from the gospel, John has been arrested. And we know who John is, right? Do we know who John is? Yes, John is the one that came before Christ, a voice in the desert, prepared the way of the Lord. And if we follow the history, we saw that last Sunday, John was also on the other side of, this, of the river proclaiming the same gospel, baptizing people. A lot of people keep coming to him. And Jesus set off on the other side of the river. But then when John saw Jesus walk by, he said to his disciples, Behold, the Lamb of God. To remind us 
that this is the time that Jesus is setting out to start his own earthly ministry. And the disciples of John turned around and followed Jesus. And today we had what was the first message of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the message of repentance. The message of repentance. That is what Jesus started with. And that is where John ended. John ended at repent. Baptize us in the name of the Father. Are you the Messiah? No. But now the Messiah have come. The message of repentance. Well, there is one thing we have to bear in mind when we think about this message of repentance. One, how patient God is with us. Because each time the people fall away from the commandments, what do God do? He sends a prophet. He will tell someone to go and tell my people, warn them, this is not right. Do what is good. He didn't just go into judgment and say, you know what? I condemn you guys. No. That is not how he do. But guess what? In today's first reading, we had the people of Nineveh have fallen out again. And Jonah was sent to proclaim the message. There are so many things we can learn in Jonah's life and message. But the church today decided to cut off the first part. How did Jonah even get to Nineveh, right? We know that story, how he wanted to run away from God. He get in the boat, thinking that that's the way out. But it did not happen. But today, he arrived in Nineveh to proclaim what message? The message of repentance. That means our word is no more what God have made it to be. Human beings have changed our word. It is no more what God desire it to be. But God has not given up on us. And that is why he always gives us time. Don't forget about the patience of God. And that is why the work that Jonah can do in three days, one day was enough. If you were following the reading, he said, Nineveh is a place that Jonah can go within three days. How many hours is that? Three days. But as soon as he started that message of repentance, in one day, the entire people repented and believed in God. And what happened? God forgave their sins. The message has come to us today. When we look at the world, turn away from sin. That is to do what? To have a conversion. It is for us to start a new life. And what would be the best time to do that? Apart from this new year. Most of us had a new year resolution, right? Right on the 31st night or even on the first. The reason why you had a new year resolution is because you believe in yourself. You know that you can do better. And you wish things get better. For example, I don't think there is any of us here who have survived the coronavirus. On the new year, you say, Lord, please give me another coronavirus in 2021. Did anybody say anything like that? No. We want a better life. And when you look at what happened the last year, many people, I mean, they have the reason to ask questions. Many people keep asking, where is God in all this? Some people say that God is angry at us. 
You have the right to say that. But at this point, do we listen to his message as we get into this new year? Can we make a resolution? Can we have a conversion to follow him? You might ask yourself, when? Jonah did this in one day. We can do it in one day. The whole, the entire city of Nineveh, which I presume is going to be at least bigger than uh, Bloomfield. Don't you think so? If it is something that you're going to walk around for three days, if I set up from here and go around Bloomfield, I think in, in, in 24 hours I should be done. Right? But the entire city got to, to repent and receive the forgiveness from God. We are called today to do so. And Jesus is telling us when. Look at how he started. This is the time of fulfillment. He didn't say tomorrow is the time. He didn't say maybe later on this evening. He didn't say maybe when you clock 50 years old. He never said maybe when you were born. But he said this is the time of fulfillment. And they said again, repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of love. The gospel of life. The gospel that if we translate it, it is what God has in mind from the book of Genesis, from the beginning of the world. The Lord wants everything to be good. And that is how he made the world. Do you think he wished that we die? No. Do you think he wished that we suffer? No. No. Because he never judges us according to our sins. Rather, he gives us time. He makes us look at his beloved son and believe in him. That's what it said on the baptism of the Lord Jesus just a couple of weeks ago. My beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Listen to him. And today, the gospel came. Repent and believe in the gospel. We have to know that each time God wants us to do something, he has a reward for us. It is not just, okay, do it because I want to suffer you. No. If we turn around from our old ways of life and think about how to live a better life, on how to do things more better, or how to please God more, there is always a reward that comes with it. Today's gospel said, the kingdom of God is at hand. Is that not a great reward? Who would not want to inherit the kingdom of God? Each and every one of us came here today because we believe in our Lord Jesus and we believe that he has gone to prepare that place for us. And we believe that that kingdom is meant for people like us. All we need to do is to just put a little effort, make a new year resolution, turn around from the things that drives us away from God. And each time we do that, we are following the light, the way, and the truth. If we, if we continue with that gospel, we saw that those he looked and called responded right away. Those he looked upon and see them doing their daily job and he called them. They immediately followed him. Can we immediately in our life today as we hear this call from the Lord Jesus, follow him. 
do the wish of God in our life and continue to pray for strength for us to survive this moment, for us to go through the difficulties of this life, for us to always believe there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. And that is why we are following Christ. So let us pray at this Mass that the good Lord will give us that courage, that courage to always be children of the light, children who follow Christ. And at the end, may that kingdom of God be ours. Amen? Brothers and sisters, with one voice, let us now proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life to all to come. Amen. With the same trust the first apostles had to follow Jesus, let us now turn to God and bring him our needs. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, may we through God's grace Continue to grow in the likeness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our nation's leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in promoting justice for all, especially the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those nearing the end of their earthly lives, May Jesus bring them comfort, peace, and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For this gathered family of faith, may God bless us and protect us in this new year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Benjamin Peskler, and Anthony Ramo, may our merciful Savior welcome them to paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us offer the intention of this Mass for Jaime Vertuccio. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of mercy and love, we turn to you with trust in your infinite goodness. We ask that you hear the prayers we bring to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen.
Blessed are you, Lord of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hand has made, shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of vine and work of human hand shall become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Lord Jesus, wash me from my sins, cleanse me from my iniquities. Celebrate the most holy Eucharist. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, with the praise and glory of his name, Father, for the good of all souls. Accept our offering, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one current of exultant praise as we acclaim. curated rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took the bread and giving thanks, he says the blessings, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he says the blessings, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it.
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and glorious mother, St. Joseph, St. Valentine, St. Andrew, and with all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church and it. To your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of your family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the whole world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who we are pleasing to you, are they passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant we pray, almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Brothers and sisters, uh, today you see that uh, with the help of our brother, um, Tom Rosanna, who happened to be a friend of mine since I was ordained, and he lives here in Bloomfield. So he helped us to record this Mass, this uh, 12 o'clock Mass. So if you go home before this evening, you will see this Mass on our website. 
You can put it on for grandma and grandpa who cannot come up here and those who are sick who cannot come here. We are working towards that and we will have more details next weekend, okay? So but I want you to know that this mass will be on our YouTube channel curated by our brother Tom and then we will also see it on our Facebook if we reactivate it and then on our website. You can look at it from your phone, from a smart TV or from a laptop or wherever. So we are trying to measure up with the parishes around us, okay? The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Disciples baptizing.